next session is by our premium partner, Symphony AI. I would like to invite on stage Piyush Parashar, Territory Sales Manager, Symphony AI Enterprise IT, to share his thoughts on Accelerate Business Growth with Symphony AI Apex Workflows. Let's welcome on stage Piyush Parashar. Please join us, Piyush. In today's fast-paced corporate world, employees want their technology problems to be solved proactively. A recent survey revealed that 63% of employees prefer proactive support. Nine out of 10 workers hope to use AI to reduce repetitive tasks in their jobs. That's where Symphony AI comes in. It's an AI-powered IT and enterprise workflow platform that empowers employees to focus on meaningful work. Businesses, banks, factories, shop floors, airports, retail, and hospitals all rely on uninterrupted IT support to run smoothly. That's why you need a robust IT service management platform powered by AI. Symphony AI leverages natural language processing and large language models, not just to support your operations, but to propel you forward. Deliver delightful experiences for your employees, thanks to its intuitive user interface and experience. It provides omni-channel connectivity, ensuring information is easily accessible wherever your employees are. The self-service experience empowers users to find the answers they need, reducing dependency on support staff. And with a 24-7 service desk experience, assistance is just a click away. Design workflows exactly as you like. With over 50 modern controls, you can build simple to complex forms with ease. You don't need to be a coding expert, thanks to the low code, no code functionality. The Service Portal Designer lets you create inspirational designs. Symphony AI Graphical Interface makes it a breeze. You can easily define business rules with a variety of predefined workflows, making customization a seamless process. With Symphony AI, you can deliver rapid business value. It enables you to roll out new services at lightning speed, ensuring your organization stays ahead of the competition. Symphony AI can help achieve up to 50% faster resolution of service requests. Experience the future of IT and enterprise workflows. Embrace rapid business value and unlock the full potential of your organization with Symphony AI. Good evening, everyone, and thank you uh, for your time. I can't be more lucky to get such a decent time, 3 p.m. after lunch, cozy room, where half of you are feeling asleep. I hope you get the sarcasm because AI does not get the sarcasm. Uh, that's what we saw just a while back. So uh, there's a sense of responsibility that we come here with when we call ourselves Symphony AI, right? I think there's a lot of onus to justify AI and not talk about only gimmicky AI solutions, which I think all of us are primarily accessing for free today. Right? So we'll definitely touch AI. Uh, something that, that we essentially do was already covered, so I don't need to repeat that. Uh, so you know, let me take this opportunity to tell you how Symphony AI, after learning from large enterprises across the globe who have challenged us, who have demanded more from us uh, to deliver, and uh, something we started in 2017 and almost committing a billion dollar on AI research and innovation, we, we definitely have something which is incremental in the market and something which is carrying an edge over a lot of solutions out in the market, right? So what was that that large enterprises was demanding from us, right? Essentially, after delivering 15 years of service management, asset management as a solution, the demand was that provide a, you know, the large enterprises were asking that, why don't you give us a platform where we cross the boundary of IDSM and AM and do few more things, right? While we retain those capability, we want to exceed and cross the lines of IT and enter other departments, right? So they wanted other applications to be rolled out from the same platform. 
they wanted a centralized way to manage all of these rollouts, to monitor those operations. They wanted efficiency in their process, right? And efficiency, they double clicked for us, and they were very precise that one, essence, uh, one efficiency should come from the people who are delivering the services. They should be uh, helped, they should be made more efficient. And secondly, something which impacts the employee side of it, the employee experience, right? So around this four towers, and with all the investments made, what was the answer to this was a platform. We call it Apex platform. Something which starts with almost all of us as an employee, as a customer to a business, as a vendor, as a merchant to a business, we all interact to, to the essential, you know, the servicing department or the servicing business over here, right? So that's the persona that the product caters to. The first icon is intentionally co-pilot because that's where all of us are trying to take our organization towards. Now this is where we cross the boundary of gimmicky AI, right? I think if I talk about end user conversational bot or a conversational gen AI, I don't see I'm gonna do, doing any service to this audience, right? That is where the additional incremental innovation has worked. We have co-pilots for analyst, we have co-pilot for executives, we have co-pilot for administrators. Of all the three, let me take an example of analyst, right? If suppose an issue or a service is landed to an analyst, can the co-pilot help analyst summarize and analyze the issue, something for which he would make one or two calls, refer a few documents, and then be very sure that what's the issue? It would take around 15, 20 minutes. Can that be two minutes? Can that be 30 seconds? So that's the first level of service done to the analyst. After the due diligence around the issue is done, can the Gen AI, again the same co-pilot for analyst, can it help him suggest some resolution? Now these resolutions can be based on the history of issues which the system has encountered. It can be based on knowledge, certainly which is part of the system. After they have proposed some resolution, whatever has been delivered by the analyst, the key thing here was it was never going back as a very robust, as a very structured knowledge quotient back into the system. Most of the tickets are resolved saying, issue resolved, thank you for contacting service desk. Overall, That's where the full stop goes, and that is where Gen AI can again help you incrementally define the experience. The response can be generated for an analyst on behalf of an analyst within the same system, right? Now this response can be in a very structured format that feeds directly into your knowledge base, right? So if all the three stages of an analyst life, where we help them analyze it, deliver it quickly, and then also summarize and contribute to the knowledge base, I think that's a solid, that's a sensible service done for an analyst persona, right? Likewise, the co-pilots we have are for executive, mostly the people in this room. You know, we, it's, it's a no-brainer that you guys are getting a 5 p.m. Friday or a Thursday 4 p.m. scheduled reports into your inbox, right? And I'm also very sure that you have a double-click question that, hey, why things change this Monday? While this report shows me a lot of things of the weekly report, what happened this Monday 10 a.m.? You have this question. How do you get the answer? You actually ring up somebody, you call somebody, you ping somebody on your Teams, you ping somebody on your Slack, and get hold of that data. Instead, you should have a co-pilot there on the report itself, and you ask the co-pilot that, hey, what was the issue here? And let the co-pilot answer for you, right? Again, that's a solid service done for an executive layer, right? So that's, that's the level of sincerity with which we are working on co-pilots. I'm sorry, we are not working, we have worked, and these are in hands of a customer. Uh, they have started using it. So beyond the co-pilot, we were also demanded that we go beyond a point solution and offer a platform. So that's what Apex is. It tightly integrates with all the co-pilots that we have innovated upon. It offers you a beyond ITSM, IT asset management, and a service automation layer. And the most striking thing over here in the platform is something we had not done in past for our customer is a designer studio. Now designer studio is, again, I'm sorry for taking the gimmicky word, no code, low code. Yes, it's a sincere no code, low code platform. But it's not a, a play around workflow automation or a workflow designer and that's where we exit, sorry. We again were challenged with very large enterprises to give a very serious no code, low code designer, right? And that's where what we did is, 
we broke it into multiple stages because a large organization, a, a complex uh, entity, needs a designer studio for portal, a different set of tools to design notification, a very different set of tools to design its workflow, a very different set to design its automation, right? So we were challenged to again further break it and tell the customers that, hey, if you are going to design a portal from this studio, we are not going to limit you with 50 templates or 70 templates, sorry. A customer one portal to a customer two portal can look completely different world. One can look like, like a, you know, a new age mobile app, while a certain thing can look as a customer support portal also, right? So that's the level of flexibility we brought into the product. And thanks to the designer studio concept in itself, whether you're designing a service portal or you're recreating a, a workflow, or you're designing a notification, or you're designing uh, maybe some SLA is something that you're trying to reconfigure, you have differentiated studio within that entire designer module to go ahead and experiment it. Then comes the last challenge that we have given it, right? How do we cross the IT barrier, right? I, I don't think anybody of here is any more interested in buying an ITSM solution, right? I don't think, we, I think the market has stopped buying an ITSM solution, right? If it is still buying, I think thanks to them, but mostly we are not buying. So that is where large organization again challenged us, and they wanted us that, hey, how complex can be those non-IT workflows that we can absorb at you, right? That is where I would just like to close my briefing with one use case, right? This very large BFSI customer of us, it's a UK headquartered organization. Uh, I will not name, but uh, it's a very sizable business into uh, car transactions and direct loan transactions. This customer had a situation where they had to do a due diligence process every time they transact with an already authorized customer or an already authorized vendor. Right. They, they attempted to do this due diligence process with certain RPA tools also. We know RPA doesn't make a head-on sense here, but yeah, they attempted to do it. But this time, because they were using our service management platform, the Apex platform, they challenged us and Day three was a challenge that, hey, we have a 38-year-old legacy customer database. Can you go back and integrate with them? It's not a new age solution that is exposing a REST API or something, right? Then it's uh, said that, hey, we have a fairly newly bought vendor management solution. Can you integrate with them on one hand, with my legacy database on the other hand, and run the entire workflow within the same platform? The answer to was this, yes. It's a very delighted customer of us. A very complex due diligence process was delivered just on the same service management platform, right? So it's not that I'm here professing that all of you can run a due diligence process, sorry. Whether you want to service your vendor, customer, partner, internal employees, you will cross the barrier of IT services, you will cross the barrier of typical IT asset management, service management solution, and that is where businesses will demand to have a very capability to be very flexible in integrations, very flexible to expand those workflows, have capacity to absorb a lot of complex workflows, right? I think going back to all these four tenets, right, where we started, that can a new age workflow solution, can a platform help a customer, a large enterprise deliver, deliver these four things, right? Can you roll out more applications quicker? Can you have it centrally done? Can you have a central command center sort of way of operating your landscape? Can the automotive automation capability be native to the platform? And can all of this put together increment your productivity, right? So we have tried to give our best and do a justice to this all challenges that were thrown to us. And that's what Symphony AI does. And that's what we bring uh, on the co-pilot and the AI side. With that, thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for listening to us. Mm -hmm.